All right, Pisces, good morning. What's going on with my Pisces today? Today is March 15th, uh, 2023. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. Anybody sending any black magic? Hoju, buju, juju towards me or my Piscean collective. Please return that shit to sender spirit. Positive vibes only on this channel will be taken. Thank you. So I went out to my car yesterday and there was a crystal and it's not mine. I don't recognize this one, but it looks like it, you know, has had got beat up by the road or whatever, but it was just random. Like usually there's like rocks and stuff out there, but this was like an actual crystal. I'm not quite sure what kind it is, uh, but I thought it was weird how it was sitting by my driver door when I went to get in the car. Anyways, I don't know why I'm sharing. Maybe one of you guys knows uh, what kind of crystal that is. If you do, tag it in the comments. Let me know. All right, so let's see what's going on with my Pisceans today, March 15th. For the next 72 hours, energy surrounding the Piscean Collective. Please, Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. Let's get five cards, please. Five cards for messages. That's what I said. Sixteenth of December. Alright, five cards. I'm being called to get at work well, um from the Believe in Your Own Magic, I think is what it is. Believe in your own magic Oracle deck. So we'll do that after we get these cards out. Let's see what spirit wants us to know there. All right. So we have the wall. There could be some type of a misunderstanding or there could be a barrier that you're needing to get through um, or something standing between you and something that you want or that you're trying to achieve. Okay, misunderstanding. Four leaf clover, great good fortune. I don't know what it is. I typically, you know, I haven't really like, I don't know. I don't typically normally celebrate, you know, uh, St. Patrick's Day. I've always liked it, but the last time I can remember celebrating it was like 10 years ago uh, in California. So I don't know. But um, this year I've been feeling it. Like I went and bought all kinds of green shirts. I went and bought a shirt for... Uh, certain people and shipped them off today <laughs> i don't know why like i'm just feeling something something about the color green is like i've been feeling it anyways we have the older man dealings or relationship with the older woman or oh my gosh could be an older woman older man that is definitely a man this is my master splinter card this could be somebody who's older wiser uh if they're not um Age older. We have chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. Okay, so some of you guys could have an older man coming into your life. Okay, this could be somebody who's very wealthy with this four leaf clover. Great good fortune. And the flag. Don't be tempted to lower your standards though, Pisces. Mm, okay, okay. And the wishbone. A wish is granted. So, all right. Let's go and see what message we're supposed to get out of this. Believe in your own magic oracle deck. Yeah. All right, just single cards, please, Spirit. Just a single card. What do you want Pisces to know? What is the message for Pisces today? Sorry, I got... I just spit. That was terrible. Okay. We're not going to talk about that. All right, so message, please, for Pisces. message do you have for Pisces? So we got two, so I'm just going to take it because um, the way they came out. All right, so you got number 36, 38, 36, 38, or 38, 36. 
could be an angel number you may want to look up. There could be a message in there for you. All you got to do is type it in Google angel number 3836 or 3638 and there could be a message. All right. So we have gold. Uh, you don't need someone else to fix you. Someone is trying to convince you that you are broken beyond repair unless you accept their helping hand, of course. If someone offers to fix some part of you, it is not because they are being selfless or kind. They know that you are in a vulnerable place and they want to make you entirely dependent on them. Tell them no, thank you. You know exactly how to put the gold into your own cracks. So for some of you Pisces, somebody here may know that you're in a vulnerable place vulnerable position okay in your life in some aspect of your life and if you accept help from this person i feel like they're not doing it for the right reasons they're doing it to have some type of control or codependency over you okay so then we have number 38 the villain you can always rewrite the story mm. the hard um the hard truth to swallow sometimes our villains win However, that doesn't mean you should give up or lose hope. It just means that it is time to rewrite the story and keep going. It can be incredibly freeing and empowering to reclaim yourself after a personal tragedy. So, you know what this is giving me? This is giving me the vibe of somebody who comes into your life, fucks your shit up, and then offers you help. <laughs> just so they can be, like, your savior. All right, so if you have someone like that in your life, this is a message for you. Um, you can do, you can fix yourself or fix whatever situation it is that you're going through all on your own, okay? Stand by your faith. Um, stand by what it is that you believe in. Because I feel like you may have somebody here trying to tear you down. Okay, don't let, some, don't let the bad guy win, all right? By you giving your power to them, that's letting, you know, and I'm not, saying it's a game of like who wins and who loses but basically you're giving your power away if you accept um if you let somebody who has caused you damage in your life be the one that builds you back up or or tries to build you back up or then because all it is is someone trying to control you or or i don't know it doesn't seem good um yeah and then the storm on the bottom of the deck number 44 every hurricane comes to an end so keep that in mind. The storm will pass, okay? Keep doing what you need to do to get through it. There could be a way someone may be offering you some outlet or assistance of help. Use discernment with this person or whoever this is that's like reaching out and offering you help because they could have, you know, ill motives. All right, so let's see. What is this misunderstanding about? These cards are already shuffled. What is this misunderstanding about? For Pisces for the next 72 hours. Why is the wall here? For Pisces. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. Show your support for the channel. All right. So let's see. Misunderstanding. Knight of Pentacles. This could be surrounding money or time. Effort. Reputation. Eight of Pentacles. There's a need to be patient. Um, or. Oh. Huh, misunderstanding. This could be in your workplace as well, or something that you're working on. Eight of Cups, the Chariot, Cancerian Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is here. Moving on. So there's a lot of determination, willpower here, self-discipline, hard work. Staying focused, the Eight of Pentacles and the Chariot both talk about like discipline, staying focused, determination, willpower to keep putting in the work, working on something. And the Knight of Pentacles talks about like persistence, you know, routine, doing things slow and steady, paying attention to the detail, paying attention, you know, and doing things. That's kind of what I was saying. Oh my gosh. So going back to those Oracle cards. Somebody may be like offering you a fast track. Be careful with like get rich schemes or any type of shit like that. Excuse my language. Anyways. Um, I wonder what this eight of cups is though. Some of you guys may be traveling, going on a retreat or just walking away from a situation emotionally and focused on your work your your priorities whatever craft it is or whatever you do for work your stability your finances 
feel like you guys are very determined to get somewhere. And so you're putting your emotion, you're walking away from your emotions, okay? And someone may be misunderstanding you in some sense. Show me the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Power, Scorpio energy showing itself. Yeah. Oh. So you guys are walking away from like something that either someone who's trying to control you or, you know, keep you bound to them. Oh, Lord. Capricorn energy. You guys could be walking away from any type of toxicities or imbalance in your life. Or you guys are just walking away from a person, place, or thing that, you know, is toxic or that makes you feel bound to it or stuck or even codependency and focused on, on your own progression. And someone's misunderstanding, all right, probably because they're controlling. All right, so let's see. Great good fortune. Four-leaf clover. Yeah, the tower and the and the devil. It's like you may make a sudden like split decision to like just walk away from something because maybe you got some type of clarity here. Why is the devil here? I feel like you guys got some type of clarity about a situation and or you will. And so you may make like a sudden decision just to like detach from something that is maybe that you're attached to. Um, the Emperor, Aries energy. This is the Emperor and the Devil is controlling. So like what I was saying, this could be a father figure. This could be a boss. This could be your dad. It could be your uncle. It could be anybody. It could be an Aries. Um, but this is you walking away for your own stability, creating your own structure and and with the devil here too as well, I feel like you're like extremely determined, like obsessively determined, okay? To walk away from anything that's toxic and binding, anything that makes you feel controlled or codependent, you're taking charge of your own life and walking away from it. Show me great good fortune with four leaf clover. Great good fortune, knight of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So there could be a message coming in. You could also be doing something in the creative heart, <laughs> creative arts, creative arts, okay? That may be very lucrative for you or something that, um, some type, you know, this could be like painting or some type of, um, I'm also getting like some type of editing software. I don't know if any, who, who's into that, but, um, Okay, four-leaf clover. Something that you do creatively could bring in a lot of fortune. Show me this four-leaf clover. Eight of wands, taking off, traveling, messages coming in, messages of good news. Some type of proposal. This could be from a romantic person. So if we do like the first storyline that I was saying that some of you guys may have a, a wealthy man or someone new entering your life. This could be someone who's older. Or there could be an age difference here. Um, who may be expressing something to you, wanting to move forward very quickly. There is some sense of excitement with this though. There could even be travel. Someone may even be wanting to like take you on a date and travel somewhere where it's warm. All right, the star, Aquarius energy. This is some type of wish fulfillment coming in for you. Something that you've been wishing for, hoping for. Um, some of you guys may have been inspired to travel as well. Knight of Swords, this is going to happen quickly. This, Whatever this is, this information, this message, this news coming in, this is going to come in real quickly. Could be from an air sign or a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but there is some type of positivity, healing, um, 
there could be a little bit of rebellious energy here of like doing something very quickly or just making a sudden, you know, taking some type of sudden action, arrival, departure. And ten of Pentacles. Whoa. All right. So great good fortune. This could be news coming towards you with the Knight of Swords. This is some type of wish fulfillment. And whatever the heck it is, it's going to make you happy and it's going to happen fast and it's going to involve some type of stability. This could be um, building a business, building a family, building a home, building uh, some type of inheritance or windfall of money coming towards you very freaking quickly. Great good fortune. Tell me this is to, uh, Friday, <laughs> Shamrock Day, because we have the Shamrock here. So show me what's up with this older man for the Piscean Collective. Show me what this older man is doing up in Pisces Collective. For some of you guys, this could be you, but it says dealings or a relationship with the older man, so I don't feel like this is you. This could be somebody who, yeah, the King of Swords is someone who's older. Definitely could be an Aquarius. This could be who's coming towards you, giving you some type of good news. Um, this could be a judge. This could be someone in some type of legal counsel as well, giving some type of honest, truthful advice. Uh, this is also someone who has um, authority to make some type of decisions here. Is somebody who's um, trusted, respected, stoic, maybe a little bit unemotionally unavailable. But this person could either be somebody who's been through, you know, the king and queen of swords is somebody who's been through a lot. All right. They don't, you know, they're very intelligent maybe been through a divorce or many life lessons they don't have that intelligence for nothing okay or it could just be an air sign show me what's up with this older man master splinter <laughs> what is up with him mm. What's up with this older man in Pisces reading today? The Emperor. I was wondering that. Okay. Let's hope it's not the same. Tell me more about the older man. This could definitely be an authoritative figure with the Emperor. Could be Aries, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is somebody in an authoritative position. Someone who's very disciplined, honest, truthful, a good parent, a good spouse. Someone who's loyal, dedicated, and honest. Yeah, this in the Hermit, Master Splinter. I'm trying to tell you, Virgo energy, this could be Virgo and the Four of Pentacles. Whoa, for some of you guys. This person could be discovering some money that was withheld from you. The Hermit. Like there could be an investigator or just a spirit guide, or this is someone who could also stay to themselves. They're very wise, very knowledgeable. They may not, they, they're very honest and truthful, but they may not, um, how do I say it? Like they may not be very fun and outgoing and like hee hee ha ha. This is somebody who's very like disciplined. <clears throat> this is someone who's older and wise. Four of Pentacles, so I don't know if this person's been holding on to you, holding back from you. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Or this person's discovering something that was withheld from you? Or telling you the truth about something? The Magician, Virgo Gemini. This person could have Virgo on their chart, but... This person may be manifesting you or you may be manifesting this person into your life. Why the Four of Pentacles, though? It's 
strength card. Leo energy. Um, again, this is someone who's very powerful, very strong, very courageous, but there's some sense of like holding back or even holding on because the emperor over here is with the devil. So is this the person that's like trying to have some authority over you? Still holding on to your time, your energy, your resources. This could be somebody. In, man, all right. This could be somebody who's holding on to your resources, trying to control you, Pisces. This can also be someone who's ghosted you, held back from you. This could be a father figure. This could be someone who's divorced or someone who's older with the hermit and the king of swords and the emperor. The magician is also somebody who could be older. You know, it doesn't always have to be, but. Anyways, this is definitely somebody who may be like, you know, older. Show me chair filled. What's up with this new person entering Pisces life? What's up with this person? Mm. I strongly feel like this is that same person that there could be a misunderstanding with or some type of a barrier. Maybe you need to put up a wall to this person, like a strong barrier. Um, especially if someone's trying to control you. I don't know what that necessarily means. I feel like you've tried, like you're walking away from this person. You may be traveling or moving. You're going to receive a message of good news surrounding something major. Wish fulfillment, finances, the honest truth. It's going to make you happy and it's going to come in really quick. But I still feel like there's someone here that's trying to like hold on to something of yours. Whether it's your time, your energy, your resources, your money, you Someone here is like trying to strong arm you. And I don't like it. Show me someone new is entering your life, Pisces. Ten of Cups. Yes, bitch. Yes. Sorry. I wasn't calling you guys a B. But anyways, Ten of Cups. Okay. Happiness. A family. This could be someone new entering your life that maybe could result to marriage. Nine of Swords, hmm, why is there fear or worry or anxiety? Could this be the one? Who's this chair filled? This doesn't even have to be like, this could be someone new in your family, like maybe somebody who you've never met, but they're your family some way. This person may be worried about coming towards you. Show me the chair filled. The tower and this is gonna happen suddenly what is up with all this like sudden energy the, oh shit ten of swords in the tower <sighs> hmm what was that other card every hurricane comes to an end you may have went through some type of a sudden ending ten of swords in the tower is like a sudden ending it's destruction, chaos, bankruptcy, divorce, a spell being broken. Something here, Scorpio energy. Someone's worried about something. Someone could be worried about you being happy. This could be someone who... All right. Um, so, yeah. I feel like you have, I don't know. I don't feel like this is the new person coming into your life. Give me one more. I don't feel like this is the new person coming into your life. I feel like somebody is fearing that someone new is going to come into your life. And this could be someone who betrayed you, stabbed you in your back, caused you a major tower moment in your life. And I feel like you're getting justice for this. Excuse me, Libra and energy. You guys are getting justice for a situation. You guys are about to be happy and someone's stressing off of that. It's like someone doesn't want to see you happy. So it's like somebody who doesn't even really want to do right by you necessarily. It's like somebody who wants to control you and they're worried that you're going to go off and be happy with someone else. Maybe someone can feel someone else coming into your energy, Pisces. The Six of Cups. Yeah, you're getting justice for a past situation where you were left hanging, feeling stuck, stagnant, lacking some type of direction or perspective here. Pisces, Libra and energy, Six of Cups.
So I don't really know who this person is. This could be someone you shared a past lifetime with, maybe a Libra, Scorpio, Pisces. But I, I don't feel so much. I feel like this is more so you getting justice and returning to self, like detaching from a situation. At one point in time, you may have felt like you didn't know who you were, like your blueprint was changed. Whoa, I don't even talk in that language. So whoever that's for, some of you guys may have felt like um, I lost what I was saying. Um, some of you guys may have felt like um, you lost yourself for a while or you lost your part of your identity and you're finding it's like coming back to self, going back to your roots, who you are as a person, starting to fill yourself again once you detach from the situation. That caused you a lot of pain, a lot of chaos. Don't be tempted to lower your standards. Yeah, don't be tempted to lower your standards, Pisces. Don't let this person come in and like strong arm you or, or try and control you. I feel like you're working on something. You've put a lot of work, a lot of time with this Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot. You've been very determined to, to moving forward and walking away from this controlling ass energy in your life. Don't be tempted to lower your standards. Two of Pentacles. Tell me more. Why is the flag here for Pisces? Yeah, you don't need this person to fix you. You can fix your own mother. So. Four of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Hmm. Tell me more. For some of you guys, you could be even fearing making a choice or a decision. Queen of Cups here. Uh, use your intuition. I feel like whoever you are, you're single, stable, whether you're man or woman. You're someone who's very stable, single, self-sufficient. The Nine of Pentacles talks about independent success, um, prosperity and wealth, hard work, collecting on your investments, thriving, uh, reaching some type of status in your life where you feel secure, where you can enjoy the fruits of your labors. And this is you. Queen of Cups or King of Cups, man or woman, this is just a more feminine energy. So masculine, you can be in a feminine energy, does not mean you have a peanut, okay? But anyways, this is somebody who I feel like you've done the work, you've healed from whatever type of heartbreak, and there's a choice or a decision here. Um, I don't know, why is the Two of Pentacles here though? Are you going back and forth in this or like, what are you doing? The World card. Two of Pentacles. So, yeah, you have... So, the world card. It's like you have a choice here to... The two... Two is talk about choices, okay? Decisions needing to be made, possibly to end a situation. You see the truth of a situation. You've gotten clarity. You have some type of breakthrough in your life or some type of new idea or new plan that you could be embarking on that could be very, very successful. I think we talked about that. Um, some of you guys are just balancing multiple, like, you know, juggling your home life, your work life. Some of you guys have found some type of balance in your life and like peace with the four of swords. It's like you found some type of balance and peace and rest where you guys can rest and enjoy whatever it is that you've worked hard for. Okay. So don't be tempted to lower your standards. Just because your life is 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 better than what it was does not mean you take on some some other BS or you let somebody like or you let the wrong person in that can like disrupt that. Did we talk about this yesterday? I wonder. Hmm. Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're very attractive at this time, and you got someone like stressed out, stressed out, stressed out. Because six of swords. You got someone stressed out because you're moving away. You're taking action. You're very confident, getting a lot of attention possibly. Some of you guys could be working out or working on your images as well, like your physical images and your mental health and, and like not images, but your mental health or like your emotional health. Thank you, spirit. Not mental health, emotional health. And you got someone up in their head because they, they feel like you're moving away or you're getting away. Six of Swords, you're finding peace and balance in your life. 
whoever this reading was for, I feel like you guys have like something wish fulfillment, something really positive coming in, some type of great good fortune with this four leaf clover, wish fulfillment, the star card, knight of swords, eight of wands, knight of cups, and ten of pentacles. Damn. Y'all got some something coming in very quickly for you. Finances, stability, stability. You guys could be building up a legacy for yourself or building a brand, building a name, um, moving up in the corporate ladder, whatever it is that you're doing, you guys are like very focused and determined and putting in the work and doing it repetitively. It's not like, oh, I'm going to work hard one day and then fuck off the next day. It's like you guys are very, you guys are doing something routinely that is aiding to your, um, that is aiding to something great here and is what you're walking away from is this devil emperor. So I don't know if this is a father figure in your life or somebody who feels like they have some type of control or authority over you. And it could be someone who's trying to control you via finances or someone who could just be holding on to your time, your energy, or holding on to something resourceful. This is somebody who's very strong, very powerful, but so are you. This person could be a smooth talker with this king of swords magician. Someone who knows how to like manipulate. This is somebody who's older. They're experienced. I'm going to just put it that way. They're experienced. And I feel like you have somebody new coming into your life that could lead to the ten of cups. You got someone else worried over here. Maybe they're going through a tower. Maybe they feel betrayed. Or maybe this is someone who did this to you and you're getting justice for this. This person left you hanging in the past. But the hangman. You have a choice to make. Don't be tempted to lower your standards, Pisces. Because with this Queen of Cups and this Queen of Wands, y'all may be tempted to like take action or to be helpful. Or you may have some type of skills or talents that could enable or help somebody. But... Um, I don't know if this, how do I say this without being insensitive? Um, your boat is already sailed. So it's like, are you going to keep like, are you going to throw the anchor in and keep trying to go forward and let it like pull you back? Or like, what are you going to do? Are you really going to move forward? Are you really going to walk away? Or are you going to let someone like sink their hook in you like a fish? Someone's trying to catch you, Pisces reel you in you don't need someone else to fix you you're on your way already this could be a major challenge to overcome because this queen of wands and queen of cups it's like you have the talents the empathy the heart the big heart okay somebody could have fire and water in your chart as well um But again, was somebody here, if this is whoever this is, this person has their own strength and power to do whatever it is that they need to do. They don't need you. They just, they just want to control you, period. The fucking strength card, the magician, the hermit, the king of swords and the emperor. Oh yeah. This person is just greedy. That's all. Four of pentacles. They're greedy. They don't want to give nothing. They hold on to whatever it is that they have. And that's probably why they're in a position of power. And they know how to do this. They know how to manipulate. That's their strong suit. Strength card and the magician. Their strong suit is using multiple tools to get the outcome that they desire. Literally. All right. Let's get some advice for Pisces. I feel like you already have your advice, but ask for help from others. Yeah, not this person. All right. If you need help, ask for help from others. There's other sources, friends, family, whatever. Listen to your intuition, Pisces. And perfect timing. So something may be happening in the perfect timing. It could be this four-leaf clover. But I feel like you need to detach from this because God won't send you blessings if you're still attached to someone who has the power to control you. Okay? 
God isn't going to give you what you deserve and what is right and what is what you're yearning for or whatever it is with this justice here. I see it coming in, but you got to detach from this toxic energy, this devil energy, whether it's a person, place or thing. And I strongly feel like it's a person because of the emperor is coming out as someone who's trying to control it control a narrative and this person is very powerful so it's like you give this person an inch they're going to take nine right so be careful with that because they may play on your in your empathetic your your fun uh you may be more like with the queen of wands and queen of cups especially if you're the feminine here you may be very like energetic very playful um very caring nurturing self-sacrificing and this person knows it I'm just saying, I know it. All right, and compromise. Compromise with what, spirit? Trust. Okay. <laughs> compromise and trust. So that's your, you don't need to compromise with this person. You need to compromise with the universe and trust. Or, you know, compromise with your angels, with your God, with your guides. Sometimes it's really hard for us to lean out on faith, especially when it's like somebody's like, oh, uh, where's that card? I got to show you something real quick before we get off here. Holy shit. Why did I do that again? 36 minutes. Uh, sorry, guys. Um, this is what it's like. As soon as I find the freaking card. Watch it be the last card I find. Where are you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, this is crazy. And be alive. Ah, there we go. That's what I was seeing in my head. It's like trying to keep you like a puppet on a string. It's like, here, Pisces, I can help you. Just reach out and grab my hand. Yunk! I'm going to yunk you back. And you're going to be stuck. You need to compromise with the universe. Give it to God. All right, and let God do his work. Let the universe or your angels or whoever it is that you pray to. You guys wouldn't be here if you don't believe in a higher source. Um, so I'm going to leave this reading here. If it helped, gave you guys clarity, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace.